Howdy, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of the Growing Pains podcast with your hosts, Fizzle K Woo-hoo. and Ethan Payne. Yeah. Bazinga. Uh, Bazinga. 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 Um, it is 2024 and we are back again. Yeah, we, we already said this I know, last it's time. Just, it's really cool. I, I, the other day I kept saying, oh, it's 2023, but it's, it's, not. it's not. We're in a di- it's not. different year now. Um, how's new that? you, new shoes. Usually he's in his new balance like every episode, yes. but he's got Uggs for Christmas. <laughs> I I'm trying have, to convert him. We are now matching. We have the the very Nordic-like. Yeah, they are. Inspired, these mine, ones. Mine, look how much... Mine are bougie bougie, look. Are they? Yeah, these are the ones I got for my birthday. But are these just not the same? No. They're these, the same these, things, These no? are, a, these are a, um bougie pair because of the colour. Oh, because of yeah. the colour? Yeah. All right, okay. Well, yeah, you can now consider me a <laughs> a thug. That would be quite good, no? No. Like a, I'm a thug <laughs> with Uggs. Yeah. That thug. Yeah. Um, but yes, they are comfy. I decided to wear these because my feet hurt. Yeah, I'm just trying to get him on Ugg life. Since he tried to leave the house in slippers, because he hates on Uggs so much, and that literally like the only shoe I wear. This and Crocs. This is a slipper, though. I right? have dead shoe game, but these are my shoes. Right? This is the, this is a slipper. Yes, exactly, and that's the beauty of it. Because I was like, you can't leave your house in actual slippers. That's not allowed. But you can leave in these. That's the great thing this about it. This is just it. a slipper with a sole. It's a glorified shoe slipper. Yeah, but it's a shoe. But it, it, but it feels it's like not a shoe. Slipper. It's a slipper. No, it's not. It's like, is a Jeff Cake a biscuit or a cake? It's cake. It's called Jeff Cake. Mm, but it, it does qualify as a biscuit. It's not. Does it crumble? No. <laughs> it can if you want it to. Is that the, is that the qualification of a biscuit? Is Does it crumble? Yeah, because it's sponge, isn't it? It's a Jaffa Cake. It's a sponge. It's Jaffa Cake. It's not, it's not a biscuit. If mm. I throw it, it's still going to say hole. Huh? Why is it in a biscuit hole? Well, depends what shape we go down, I'd imagine. What, is it in a cake hole? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Should I do a YouTube video? Yeah. Where, where's the Jaffa cakes kept? <laughs> well, yes. Um, what have you done in 2024 so far? We went to a spa, didn't yeah. we? And I have a funny story about that. So <laughs> I have two funny stories. Um, we went to a is. spa. We had a lovely time. And then um, I <clears> was just round by the pool. And then a class come in, didn't they? So it was literally like only us in the room well, I'd by the pool. Asleep. Yeah. Ethan fell asleep. And a whole class of like, I don't know, like 15 people come in. And Ethan went to go to the toilet. And he just slipped behind the door. And it was the funniest thing ever. <clears> I've obviously burst out laughing, but I was like, that is so on brand for you to just yeah. potentially crack your head open as soon as everyone walks in a room. Yeah, sorry, they're doing like this aqua class where, they, <laughs> you know, when you punch the water and do like this stuff, yeah. all in the water, getting ready, playing their tunes. And I was like, all right, I'm leaving this room now, but before we leave, I'm going to go to the toilet. And yeah, I slid. Yeah. I had to like pause in the toilet for a minute, like a fucking spider man, <laughs> to make sure I was still up. Um, but yeah, can you imagine just bang, head on the sink? Hello, everyone. Like class is cancelled. Yeah. Can you please send me to hospital? Ethan's dying. Yeah, I've cracked my head open. Yeah. Um, but yes, that was very nice, wasn't it? Yeah, the spa was cute. It was definitely and needed. My body needed that. Yeah, it was good. We had a hot stone massage. I like that. Yeah, lava shell. Yeah, I feel like it was a... Uh, do you know when you have an old washboard? That's what I felt like it was feeling like on my back and my ribs. It was really nice, though. Like the but, stone and then you rub it down. Yeah. I'm surprised it didn't sound like xylophone. Sat in the sauna, got in the ice pool. Done all that. Yeah, that was good. I also did that. You didn't do that. I did. Faith Pinky promised as well. We uh, like, I did. I tried. <clears throat> no, I you, got you into did my a worse try. No, you did a worse try than you did last yeah, time. Yeah, but we was in the hot tub first, and you're you're a professional. You do all the cold showers and stuff. I'm a warm person. Look, look at warmer, and I like to be warm. So, I like it was, to be warm. so it was more of a culture shock for me to get out of the hot tub, and then it felt like ice. But to Faith, so we was in the hot tub, and then this couple got out. This couple come out. The lady tried it. She's did the same as Faith, got down to like her calf and sat it off. I think women feel cold more. And then the geezer, geezer got in up to his shoulders and got straight back out. And then they was like, can we come in the hot tub? And yeah. Like, yeah, go on then. But then Faith was like, go on, you do it. And I was like, it just looks like really arsy. <laughs> so you two failed, so watch this. <laughs> yeah, but in my defence, I've been telling you to go in it the whole day. Yeah, I know. I and like, then you saw other people do it. So I was like, oh, you may as well do it. So I, so I, I, I waited like five minutes before doing it because I didn't want them to think that I'm going to show I you. I really thought I'd do it as well. Yeah, you pinky promised. My whole promise, leg But you've up. now broken a pinky promise. No, though. I haven't because I did get in. I you was, didn't get in. I was underwater. You wasn't underwater. I said I'd do it and I did do it. That I just does didn't... not qualify as you being underwater. But technically I am. No, your calf was underwater. Listen, it's hard. It is hard. It is so hard. And I've got such a sensitive belly as well. Even when we go on the holidays, I have to like really quickly get my um, belly under. I don't know why. It's just really sensitive to cold. 
Sure. Not that I even got there. I had my whole fire to get through. Yeah. After the spa, my mum had our dogs, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So she was looking after my dogs. And Hades, bless him, he's a rescue from Spain. So he's battered, bless him. But every single month... He was month, neglected as well. He was, it, ne- he yeah, was that's neglected. what I meant by yeah. battered, bless yeah. him. He hasn't had a great start to life. But he's about six, seven. He's six I, now, yeah. Six, yeah. So he's not old, Close but seven, but he's all yeah. arthritic and things like that because he was locked in a cage. He was never taken out of a flat cannot didn't move walk, really. like well he didn't get taken on them so he was stuck in this cage and did not move for months on end so you can imagine his bones aren't agile mobile all of that can't sit down properly can't sit down can't properly. sit like a dog you have but to sit sort of like you spray his legs side, out, yeah. yeah all of his knee, was it the just, vet said that he needs knee surgery but yeah he needs knee surgery he won't make but, it. but yeah but his other bones can't support that leg yeah. if he was to have a surgery right however what we do do is pay 150 pound every single month for a painkilling injection so a steroid this, injection i assume yeah. yeah so it's um it's a painkiller that lasts a month so he's not in actual pain hmm. he runs around he comes up the stairs he wags his tail like anyway i got home from the spa lovely relaxing time my mum went Oh, Faith, I think Hades is in pain. I'm like, oh, well, he's probably, in ju- he's probably due his injection <laughs> soon. Um, and then she was like, oh, okay, right. Well, well, I just think he's in a lot of pain just because he's not wagged his towel. But that's my dog. So he feels most comfortable when I'm there. I wasn't there. So he probably wasn't wagging his towel. Anyway, she was like, Otherwise, Faith, I think you've got a decision to make. I was like, I've just come back from the spa and I've just been told to put my dog down. I was like, are we fucking on drugs? What's going on? Laugh. It did make me laugh. I was like, am I in a fever dream? I've literally just got from a lovely relaxing day. Faith, have you fall back putting your dog down? <laughs> no, he's fine. He's, he's fine. He's fine. He's just and a little and bit And my dad cause... was round yesterday and I was like, can you just watch this dog just to tell mummy, run, chase my horses. He's absolutely bloody no, fine. He's, Jumping he's, on my sofas. He's fine. He's, fine. he's just, he's he's just, just prefers knackered. it when I'm there. And unfortunately, I do think in... He hasn't got a long life, but no, if he was in I mean, actual yeah. pain yeah. and showing me signs of pain... I do think in the near future... <laughs> <laughs> couple years he probably is knackered yeah, yeah he couple probably years is. I don't think them dogs would even live I wouldn't long keep, anyway I wouldn't keep dogs going just for me yeah. it's, if he was in actual pain like not coming up the stairs mm. not sitting down just sitting started, in one place if yeah. his legs started giving way bro he's fine he's, he's literally right. chases my horses he, he's, a, he's a good boy he is um, <laughs> it's just funny so yeah rest and rejuvenated at spa and yeah. then I two days after no a day after mm-hmm. uh, ran a mar- half marathon mm-hmm. yeah Faith couldn't give a flying fuck about it, but... Bro, you made my day so difficult. Uh, I made her day difficult by running a half marathon, so she doesn't care. No, no, I I do care. I think you've done a good job. Um, Thanks. But but I had the horses... I think you've done a good job. But I had my horses on my own. I needed to go to the shop and get hay. And it's incredibly difficult to carry a bale of hay with a baby, either on my chest or in a pram. Can't do it. I I only have two hands. And I can't carry a bale of hay if I'm wearing the child because they're heavy. And then I can't push a pram because I'm carrying the hay. So do I just leave the the child in the car then what about predators and then I can't can't just leave her in the pram and then just hope she's there in five minutes when I put so anyway and then at home I have some naughty horses I've got one good one who I'd probably trust Um, she's lame so I have to put her in our little rescue patch we call it it's just a small patch her foot yeah she's hurt her leg so um, she's in the lame area so it's just a small turnout bit really small she can't run or anything mm. but she's outside um but i will not move the horses especially pablo and dora because they're both young they're all three of them that are naughty are babies they're all very naughty kelly's fine she's 10 um but yeah i cannot move them horses and hold a child just because pablo's quite aggressive dora's really spooky and lorenzo bites so <laughs> i can't move a child around lorenzo's never bitten Yes, he does. He, he was. Bite me. I found out he bit because he bit. He don't bite he me. Bit Pablo bites. Yeah, Pablo is. Just... Pablo's a Pablo. I wish I'd never even got name and rights over that one. That one got fucked right off. Maybe he wants to be <clears> a Sparko <throat> again. No, that, that was his that name when we got him. Freak and guy. Yeah, but um, no, <clears> he's <throat> just a baby. He'll grow out of it. But um, <laughs> but, e- but yeah, even so, out for the but big even bite so, people. I then had to. I can muck out, which is fine. I just need you to be at home temporarily to have Olive whilst I move the horses around because yeah. I cannot put them out and get them in and hold a baby it's just mm. not doable it's not safe I had to call my dad to come up I was like dad I need help but Ethan's yeah. fucking running in a park right now <laughs> I was like I've now have such a stressful day <clears throat> Ethan's running in a park right now it's just like the one day where I was completely on my own and I had By the way, to do it was fucking Baltic <laughs> so I went out <clears throat> and my little running tights 
which <laughs> Faith thinks are really funny as well. Oh, yeah, they're awful. Yeah, so running tights, they're just nice. They compress your sort of thighs and make you really fast and quick. Oh, do they? Yeah. <clears throat> Lightning stripes. Yeah, so I went out in those, my trainers, my socks, and then an Under Armour and a T-shirt thinking... Once I get going, I'll be fine. Holy shit, mate. I, I was did tell sat you there. Like, the night before, so it's like one degree. You <laughs> didn't believe sat me. There until, until they started taking us through the warm up. <laughs> you know, when like Olive dribbles, I was dribbling out my nose. Like, yeah. Hey, yeah, guys. Like... But then um, obviously, once we got going, we started at like half nine. By like 10 ish, half 10, the sun was out. It was really nice, actually. And I was like, a nice temperature. Yeah. But, yeah. That's good. I did it. I did, I did it with two... No headphones, by the way. I was I was really angry about that because on the welcome pack thing, it goes, headphones are not permitted. Why? Because you've got to listen out for like the marshals and whatever that tell you, all right, someone's coming past, someone's doing whatever. So I didn't. Fucking everyone had headphones in. Yeah, they said, fuck that. <sighs> so I ran the whole thing with no headphones. They said, first time? No, never yeah. my first time. Um, two pee breaks. <laughs> I need to stop doing TikTok references in case people don't get them. Yeah, I don't get them. I do it all the time and I feel like not everyone is addicted no, to TikTok. I don't get a lot of them. But yeah, started the year off on a on a strong foot. Yeah. And uh, Would well, you use your right one first? Probably. Yeah, that's good. Uh, may it continue. Would you ever run anything with me? Um, Would you ever... Because uh, you know that like Proddy, Proddy... Run our money up. Ha ha. All right. Yeah. Uh, Proddy gets his missus to go out and run to the Yeah, now. I see that. Cute. They don't have a baby. No, they don't, but we could uh, put her in the what pram. What do I do? Just leave her at home? <laughs> put her in the pram and run. Oh, uh, yeah, no, sorry. No? I'm just not a big fan on running, which is strange because <laughs> in school, I had to be the best at everything. In PE, I was like Sporty Spice. Mm. Like, I just think because I was an academic, I had to be the best one at PE. Yeah, like, you're I was not bad at football. Always to be fair. captain. No, I really enjoy football, actually. <clears throat> yeah. um, I actually do like that. Um, but. In like the races, I think I was always first, relay races, mm. sprints. It was always me. But then I just don't know what happened. It was always me. You are so unathletic I think, now. do you know what? I enjoyed <laughs> it before I got pregnant. And then I got pregnant and I thought, oh my God. And now after I've had my... You never epidural, ran before you were pregnant. But I did go to gym. You went to gym, but you didn't run. I ran on treadmill. And sapped it off very quickly. But my, I still ran. <laughs> and plus, you're forgetting, getting in the but you're forgetting, before I was pregnant, I was like size four clothes. If I ran, I'm literally skeleton. Yeah, I, c I can't lose weight like that. Yeah, you don't eat well either. It, this is my point. I know that, that I yeah. go to gym, I burn so many calories and then I don't eat. So you want me to run as well? <laughs> <laughs> That's a death wish, that is. Um, uh, I feel, uh, we talked a story about I'll... when you when you thought you could beat me in a mile, mile race. Faith yeah. thought she could run a mile quicker than me. I can't. Yeah, well, we figured that out. So I, didn't, I couldn't even run we went, a mile. We was at, at the point. gym together. She was like, 100% I can run a mile quicker than you. And I was like, I said, you don't want to do this. She went, no, I will. And so we got on the treadmill, boshed it, and she sat there after about 600 metres. The thing is, though, <laughs> you make me laugh. So now I'm laughing and running and that doesn't work. I wasn't making it. No, it was just very easy to beat you in a mile. Yeah, but you just chat too much, put me off. Because it was that easy. Yeah. Well, listen, you probably are faster than me, but I'm good at stuff too. You are good at stuff. I am. Uh, do you know I don't what, know what. Uh, well, so before we get into... Oh, I'm better at swimming. You're rubbish at swimming. I'm sure swimming, yeah. yeah. Before we get started about like all the things going on in the world, last week we was given homework. Yeah, we was. We was given homework by our producers to watch Saltburn. Yeah. Which has taken the... Has it taken the country by storm? Because if it has, fucking weird. Yeah. Uh we got given homework. It's a cheeky bit of necrophilia. To, to watch Saltburn, because it'll be good for the pod. <laughs> well, fellow studios, what's going on? Why have you recommended it. this Eve, to people? Ethan fell asleep, so we had to watch it over two days, because which watching a two-hour film is incredibly difficult for us. Especially so, when you're tired. Yeah, yeah, so we split it into two. Ethan fell asleep for the first 40 minutes, so <laughs> luckily, no, he, he watched the, first watched 20, the second time. I watched he the first watched, 20, then fell asleep. First two. And then um, I was like, Ethan... She's got the up. right arm. Oh, it's so annoying though. I hate it when you're sitting down with Mate, someone. She... Oh, we'll put a film on. Oh, Mate, you fucking she went, wake give up. Give me the remote then because I'm just going to watch this by myself. <laughs> yeah, and I did. I carried on watching it until I was actually tired. And then I had 45 minutes left. So I thought, oh, I'll watch that bit tomorrow. So I was like, I think mm. this is where it's going to start getting weird. So yeah. I'll just turn it off here. And then luckily you I saw, I don't feel you like saw I all much. the weird yeah, I don't bits. feel like I miss much. I did actually really enjoy the film. So you liked the film? Yeah, I did, yeah. And I see, um, <coughs> what's his name? Keegan. Roy Barry Keegan. Oh, Barry. Oh, he's Irish, isn't he? Keegan, not Keegan. Mm. Um, 
Barry, I see loads of clips on him on TikTok, right? And someone asked him, what was the weirdest scene you had to film? Where did you feel you're most uncomfortable? And out of all the scenes he'd done, he said, oh, karaoke, because I don't really like singing and dancing. No, not the bit he where he is... for that bit, but not the part where he had his dick in a grave. Not the bit that where That went weird. Not the bit where he's fucking <laughs> mud <laughs> yeah. of the grave that not the a part man's just been buried in. Eating fucking period minge. That went weird to film. It's all just... It, it, I, I was so baffled when the man took his trousers off and humped the grave yeah that's when for me i called it quits and i said why have they sent me home to watch this yeah but i do you know what i weren't expecting him to kill um that man though i can't remember no one's names i'm rubbish felix mm, is that the popular what yeah, yeah yeah him yeah um poisoned him yeah i weren't expecting him alert. to do that at the end of the film it all comes to light that he has just essentially finessed his way murder, to technically he's finessed his way to this whole family's estate yeah uh and the the girl signs it all over to him yeah and I'll, she's ill and he takes the fucking pump out of her throat she dies the sister he leaves razor blades next to the fucking thing she kills herself yeah but it's meant to i just wasn't expecting it because mm. I wasn't expecting it when his mum and dad I weren't a drug addict as well I and could, they were just lovely people yeah, I could see where it was going from the interviews of him in the future you know where he's like oh she always said that she couldn't live with him yeah you called it before they even said that but Ethan was like she's going to kill herself yeah and then when they was in the bathtub I went right but she's going to kill herself then yeah um, but yeah again <laughs> Geezer finessed his way to an estate he found the popular kid at school. It was all an elaborate plan from the very, very get-go. Lied about his mm. life. Got taken in by this family. Finessed them. Took the whole lot. Fucks a dead man's grave. Uh, kisses the sister. Then she kills herself. Uh, the dad wants him to leave. He signs him a check. Then kills himself. Then kills him. Uh, and, and, then, uh, uh, yeah. and then he dances around the house naked at the end. Yeah. With his cock out. Murder on an dance floor. Yeah. And his like cock's just groove. out. He's yeah. flying about. Proper piece, mate. Get yeah. on that. Oh, get on that. <laughs> get, get on that, mate. Proper piece. That's what I... Rambo. <laughs> um, but yeah, again, so you producers, if you ever give us homework again... Yeah, just change. I, or like, give us a reason why you've sent us home to watch it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but we started watching For Me Once mm -hmm. uh, which has got Michelle Keegan yeah, in it yeah for first save again so we have to turn it off no I watched a good amount of it you was on your phone for the first 20 minutes no I wasn't I was checking one clip I that was, was posted was checking, you was on your phone for time it doesn't matter either way I can, <laughs> I'm, I'm a woman I can look at two screens at once right can I, can, I can that's what I do I just do you flick yeah, through, yeah that's what I do and then I turn around after he's gone oh you're on your phone and he gets proper stroppy and turns <laughs> round and sits the other way because he has to go and laugh about it and then I go up to go to the toilet and he's asleep <laughs> and I just think you proper annoy me sometimes I just don't like watching things with you I think because you just you prove a point oh you shouldn't be on your phone you're not watching it with me you're not watching I'm going to get in a strop turn around I don't get, I'm no, not watching I just, it and then I you're prefer, asleep I prefer laying in a fetal position I don't like laying... With your eyes like closed? That. Yes. If, if Ethan's like an old person, he has to sit up to watch a film. Yeah, with I do. The lights no, on. I do, yeah. If very, the lights are off and he's so. lying down and he's asleep. I'm long gone. Yeah. I'm a tired man. Busy. Hard work. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that's really good. I'm a, I'm a fan yeah, of that one. Yeah, we like that one. From what we watch, is good. Right, anyway, moving on into the world news. Uh, Gypsy Rose Blanchard is out of prison and has a tell-all interview if you don't know who she is. I don't know who she is. How do you not know who she is? I do told you, know you about yeah, I told you about it the other day. Did you? Yeah. It was um Oh, different illnesses, yeah. Her mum. Yeah, yeah. Said she had loads of different illnesses. That's it still mental. baffles me how doctors operated and things like that without doing proper checks. Like because I think in the end what happened is some doctor was like, There's nothing wrong with this mm. child. Um suffering from leukemia. But then she murdered oh, her mum. Wow. Yeah, it's proper bit like they took all their teeth out, everything. It is mental, isn't it? Yeah. Like, it's so weird that there's... I just don't understand why people do these things. Yeah, but then she killed her mum, so she served like eight years in prison, I think. I don't and know she exactly. Case yeah, she bust case, but she's out. And then she got kicked out of her hometown because she'd come too popular. Well... Like, she, she got out of prison, got like two mil followers. I suppose people probably think, good on you. Yeah, of course. Icon. That's mental. Yeah. I, I can't. <laughs> what? Can you not I say yeah, that? Killed mom, I can't. Yeah, but her um, mum was tapped. 
I think it's justified. I just, again... I, I, th I don't think she should have gone to prison. I think it's so easy to just knock about on a day-to-day -day basis and be normal. <laughs> Which do Like, how... How do people even want to do this stuff? Lie about their child having illnesses? Yeah, no, it's odd. It's so easy to just be a normal person. Yeah, no, it's really, really it's, odd. In fact, it's harder. It's such an ordeal going to the hospital to convince someone that they've got something wrong with them. Yeah. What no, the, the amount of operations she had, I don't know why she went to prison. Mm. If I was that judge, judge, I'd let her bus case. Yeah. Uh, do you know what? Fair foul. Fair play, mate. Yeah, uh, I don't really even know what, what to think about that. It's just yeah, but she's out and she's a popular gal. Yeah. Gypsy, want to come on a pod? First oh, guest. <laughs> Jesus Christ, could you imagine? <laughs> uh, Stephen Hawking was named in Jeffrey Epstein's trial. Yeah. And there was a really funny tweet, <laughs> but I can't Is like it. Funny? it I'll get in trouble. Yeah. 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 I can't like him because I'll get in trouble. But hey, uh, it fucking killed me. Um, I'll show you it afterwards. But yeah, uh, we went through it on the side plus uh, thing as well. But however, so there's a, there's asterisk ne next to this, right? So people released the headline saying Michael Jackson, Stephen Hawking, all these people were mentioned in a trial. Apparently and it, Michael... But and immediately yeah. someone goes, oh, they're all involved. They're all fucking young girls. To be mentioned in the trial just means that they was at the same party or something together. So yeah. it's just clickbait. Mm. I think... Prince Andrew Def... Oh, Prince, he's Def... Prince Andrew... Prince... Because the government whirlwind machine will get us. Prince Andrew allegedly was involved. He got the massage. Allegedly. Um, and there's, there's... There's a few in there that you can tell, definitely. I don't think Stephen Hawking was getting the massages. What, you think he was doing more? No. I think I he think was just... Stephen I think he was probably anything. just at one of their functions or something. Like, give him a fucking day off, maybe. He couldn't even talk. Use a computer What's he got to use talk? a computer? Hi, I want an orgy with underage girls, Can please. I please have a... Yeah, exactly. Bro's like, not typing that. that he, Bro's he, smart. He's literally a computer. You can trace any computers. So, where's his SD card? <laughs> what? <laughs> where's Hawkins' SD card? <laughs> can you trace it? <laughs> Bro said... <laughs> he is a computer. <laughs> <laughs> he would, he would, oh, I'm going to hell, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hell. Bro's a computer, man. He is a little you bit. You can trace any computer. <laughs> Just trace it. Listen, FBI, if he you might need have been me using a this, VPN. Uh, he might have been using if a VPN. If the FBI need me on this, I can help. Oh. Uh, <laughs> either way, yeah, there's a couple of people in there that I reckon definitely did naughty things. Yeah. Um, but hey. Naomi no, Campbell, there's, apparently. Yeah, there's the still model. more to come out, though. I think it said the press is still going through it all. Oh, but... there'll be another client to cover it up. I reckon. Mm. I don't think they're covering up. I, don't well, think I think Epstein's Island was covered by that in the first place. You think that's what covered it? Mm -hmm. There was nothing else going on in the media. All the Prince Andrew stuff's under the carpet. And don't it... get face started on conspiracies because, like, it's the longest day ever, mate. It's a little <laughs> all true, of my though. mates took the piss out of you for a very long time. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Faith and conspiracies, yeah, is mental. It's not a conspiracy. The evidence <laughs> is there, mate. Just got to look it up. Just got to look. Just got to look it up. Wake up. Wake up, everyone. <laughs> Faith is the whistleblower of everything she knows. Listen, I've got one eye open at all times. You're yeah. probably in the Illuminati. You've probably sacrificed me. <laughs> I say that to you. It's JJ in the Illuminati yet, yeah, don't I? I've said that to you before. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, he is, yeah. He he does uh he he turns up to rituals and all sorts, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> turns Sate, up to hide Sate and, and seats with the boys. <laughs> That's our rituals. <laughs> um moving on, Logan Paul has uh, his crypto zoo refund thing. Yeah. It's been scrutinized. Oh yeah, because he's not refunded people. Yeah, it's it's a techie it's just not a good look. None of it is really. Mm. Oh yeah, scamming's not going to go it's down well, pretty. is it? Yeah. It's not pretty. I feel like he's had his back pushed to a corner where he's acted. And he said, yeah, I'm going to do this. But in return, every claim gets dropped. It's just really sticky. Like anything crypto-wise that comes out like that is just bad news. Yeah, I, don't, I mean, I don't really understand. It, really. I don't understand crypto anyway, so I'm not going to speak too much on it because I don't actually really know what he done mm. either. I just know he set sank up and it's to scam people. But then you're in a position of, okay, well, do the people deserve to be paid back? Because why have you just trusted me and chucked all your money yeah. at it anyway? Like surely you should know there's a risk with any crypto that you do. There's a risk with that. You, that. you won't yeah. get return or mass growth of it anyway. So why should he refund you if you've 
chucked all your life savings in there. Yeah. It's, like you could have gone with a I mean. proper investment company if that's the it's, route you wanted to go down. It's really, it's really sticky because so, you, you've got to sort of do it out of goodwill. Mm. But you, like the game's never launching. Because I, I wouldn't go just wake up and be like, if JJ started saying, I'd be like, oh, JJ, do you know what? I have all my yeah, money. It. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It, you just wouldn't do it. So yeah. why would I feel like... Well, and it's then the main if it goes thing wrong, is JJ give my money back. That's in, not how it works. So you bought the little fucking pitchery egg. Remember that I bought some pitchery? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You buy your eggs, yeah, and then you buy a token along with it that essentially helps you do things in the game they was launching. The game's never coming out. So he's buying back the egg pitcher things but not people that bought the tokens because people would have bought the tokens thinking, oh, Jesus Christ, this game's going to bang. Let me just buy the tokens and then sell them. So it's all a bit of a mess. Yeah. People thought, because it's Logan Paul's game, it's going to bang. Mm. So people... Yeah, it's a tricky one. People chucked in a lot of money thinking, oh, even if it goes up by like 30 pounds, yeah. I've had a bit I'll probably see what happened with Prime and then thought, I'll get on that. It's just, it's really ugly. It's mm. really ugly. I don't think... Yeah, I don't any, know all the details. I don't think so. there's any pretty way out of that. Yeah. Mm. No, it's a hard one. Uh, you did a haul video this week. I did. <laughs> uh, how did that go down? Top content, that, mate. Yep. 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 Um, essentially, I needed a video and I, I went shopping that day. So I thought, Charlie, come around. Let's film it. Yeah, because uh, you, you're coming along with me to Dubai. I am, yeah. Yeah. So um, I'm working out there. I'm doing... Uh, I'm doing a summit yeah. this sort of thing and doing like a stage show with Tobe Jizzle mm. uh, on behalf of the Sidemen it's like Ethan Toby from the Sidemen are here mm -hmm. at this summit bish bash bosh but um, I think Simon's away Vic's away Josh is away JJ's away so it made sense to just extend the trip yeah. and sort of tag you along yeah it was funny because TP told me when I come to one of your um, video shoots before Christmas she was like oh Faith there's a gap in his calendar here why don't you book a holiday in mm. and I was like you're doing God's work I yeah. said Ethan you know that gap in yeah. your calendar in January where should we go <laughs> yeah well I already had that sort of summit thing booked in for like two days yeah. so it just made sense to use the other days that people are away to stay there as well so, yeah because you was just going to go out there for the two days wasn't back, you yeah. and then come back so we just thought oh well you're already in Dubai we'll just come be quite nice yeah um, I'm looking forward to that yeah That's it's it. cooler this time we went before didn't we and it was 40, 40 degrees, degrees the end of summer and now mm. it's like 25, 26 20, yeah, so it's actually 26. quite cool I'm glad it's not cold. 26 is warm. Yeah, but it's like France warm. It's not France warm. It's France peak summer warm. Peak summer warm. I've it's been still France warm. Many a times. You cannot warmth. tell me it's not peak In warmth. Peak there. warmth. Yeah. Bro knows her French weather. I do. I do. I like French France. weather woman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, friend Jay. Yeah. Uh, we actually had to do a language game on Side Plus yesterday. Bro does not know language. I'm bad. Oh, really? Oh, well, I'm so bad. What was so it? bad. Like, I just couldn't. Yeah. So there was one game where like you had to <laughs> look at a statement, guess what language it was, and then try and translate I think it. I'd be good at that. <clears throat> Trust me, you wouldn't. <laughs> really? Yeah, I could guess the language, but I, I had no fucking chance at any translation. Uh, I think I really I'd bad. Be all right. Um, but yeah, you did a haul. It was great. Listen, why are you it. raising your eyebrow? Did you leave a thumbs up? I just watched a little You're bit You're such of it. a hater. I'm not a hater. You're such when a hater. When have you ever... Bro, you took you like fucking three years to subscribe to me, mate. You had to just... I just had to, you had to earn it. Had to earn it? Yes. I, I, pay, I think I've posted like four videos since <laughs> being with you. What do you mean I've had to earn <laughs> this it? This is I mean. You, do, you don't upload anyway. So I just thought, oh... I'll yeah, but still, it contributes to the cause. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you actually watch my videos and then just... Did you leave a dislike on my Christmas one? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, join the 69,000. He's, he's on a fake account. Yeah, burner. Mm, Jesus yeah. Christ. Um, right, anyway, moving on. Moving we're on gonna, swiftly. We're going to play a game. Ooh. <clears throat> if you had to win a game show to stay alive, what game show do you think you have the best chance of winning? That's must be own. a real game show. Doesn't have to be UK based. You must first, you must come first in order to survive. Total wipeout. <laughs> well, yeah, you're dead on the first fucking obstacle. You are, like I said, you're uh, the most unathletic person I've No, ever. I'm not. Stop saying that. I'm doing a PE video. <laughs> you're going to do a PE video. Yeah. Bro, you are unathletic. I'm going to do a bleep test. You, you're all going to do a bleep? Oh, yeah. please do. I will. Please do. Let me tell Even you. out of shape me got like, I think 13 on the bleep test. Yep. Charlie, where's his, where is he? You want to do a bleep test? Charlie. Oh my God, she's not even going to make level seven. Let me just uh, voice note real quick. Um, what's that? Oh, fuck off. You are unathletic. Can't even use my phone. Um, am I recording? I'm a boomer. Hello? 
well, it's not working. I'll do it after. You are, you are an athletic. You, you are, even I'm slightly unathletic. But I'm going to prove my point. I it will just hard. hurt my heart after. That's all. I'll just have chest it pain. It will hurt your heart. I'll do well, but then I'll actually have chest pain. Right. Well, <laughs> I was going to say, total wipeout if for one is like probably the off first the cards, one off the yeah. list. I think I would like to say things like catchphrase, but we played that over Christmas really it's hard. It's actually quite hard. Yeah. Yeah. Catchphrase. Um, Who wants to be a millionaire? Nope, you you. Oh, do you know what I do? I do the chase because I'm incredibly lucky with guessing. I do the chase, but again, but then you could just guess wrong on like one of the very first fucking things. Boss, you're done. No, honestly, I remember I remember being around George's house and catch. um, No, not catchphrase. Um, whatever it's called, the chase was on, and I got them all right. Right, all in a row. She was like, Um, "How do you know?" And I was like, "I don't. I'm just guessing." I really. This is hard. And then and then it's fun as well because it's like, oh, am I gonna die? You class uh, Big Brother as a game show? You think you'd win that? Yeah. Really? Yeah. No, not when you can go <laughs> the likes me. of... Yeah, I'm a Gemini, everyone that. hates me. They'll be like, kill him. <laughs> yeah, I'm a Gemini, everyone hates me. <laughs> it's so annoying, kill him. Um, game shows, <laughs> what game shows are there out there? What's the one where you drop the <clears throat> penny in? Um, countdown, nope. No. Coin catch. No, what uh, is it? The Bradley Walsh presents that Yeah, I know well. the one you mean. I just ain't got a clue. He dropped the coin in, do, 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 and then you have to push the coins out. I yeah. think I could win that. Yeah, that was before my time. It wasn't. No, it was. My nan used to watch it. I never got it. Right. Yeah. But it's still on today. Oh, well, I never watched so it. So it's definitely in your time. Oh, I didn't watch it, it. It wasn't back then either. It was recent. You, you've been alive no, for it. No, that's an old show. No, it's not, Yeah, babe. it is. No. Someone prove my point, please. It's not. It is. I don't know what world you live in. <laughs> it's really quite something. Um, what game shows are there that I think I could do? Fuck, countdown no, because I don't, I can't do the words uh, 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 uh. and the maths. That's hard. What was that? Jimmy Carr on countdown. Right. I know there's a straight one and yeah, I can't do the, I one. can't do the big math sums. I can't do the big fucking. Word. Just what I mean. Just play the chase and then oh, am I gonna die? Yes. Yeah. I think you've asked two people here that are just gonna die. That's so rude. I'm not. No, we are. My guess die. is a good ask me anything and I'll guess the right answer. It's, it's, I'm a celebrity, a game show. Because if so, I will. if I know I'm going to die, I will just eat and drink everything and do everything. I don't find that that horrid. I wouldn't. I'd probably say shoot me. So, if yeah, I had to drink one of them things. <laughs> what, with like bull cum, uh, penis, uh, no. spiders in it? No, I you wouldn't even do it. And even if I had to sacrifice someone else, I'd be like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> You'd sacrifice someone else. Oh, uh, mate, we're going down. I cannot. Oh, no, we're not sorry. going down. You are just sending them down. And me, I'll go too. We hold hands. This is the thing. I don't watch any fucking TV, so I don't know what game shows there are. This might that fucking me. the one that we watch on Netflix, where you have to press a button and you can lie and get the answer. Oh yeah, yeah. That Danny one Dyer's with one. Danny Dyer's one. Yeah, that that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But if someone calls it out, that's no. Quite I, an think easy a, one I think I'm a good. Me. I'm a good liar. Yeah. I think I could do that. Wow, what you lied? <laughs> Loads of stuff. What oh. you lied? Yeah, what have you lied to me? I haven't. No. No, but Is that I feel a lie? Like, no, but I feel like I could pull it off if yeah. if I Is needed to. Is she pulling to. it off right now? No. Oh. If I wanted to, you could be in a game show environment. I think I could pull it off, like I did on fucking Golden Balls until Vic fucked me. Like oh. I lied the whole time about my killer balls oh, and got away with it. Then. I played the game very well that day. Golden Balls is also another good one because I just lured them into a full sense and then I'm mm. saying this, I got fucking done. Yeah, it. I'm just playing the chase. This all sounds like faff, <laughs> doesn't it? Five right. questions and Faith's I'm in playing the chase. She's, she's got a couple of questions but then you've got to beat the chaser at the end. It's oh, the full no, that format. Don't count. Oh, well, you're dead. No, hopefully I'll have someone smart on my team. No, like you've got to be... No, you're going to die. No, I wouldn't. Uh, listen, I feel like I've got really bad health anxiety because I just feel like I'm going to die every second of the day. I've got, a, you're I've got a pain in my. What the fuck has being able to run got to do with a headache, mate? <laughs> I just straight away think I've got a really specific headache here, and I think I'm, it must be a tumor. There's no way that can just be a headache. Mm. So I'll take Paris heat, mail. But if I go down, yeah, I've got pain on the left side of my head. So just make sure you tell the parents. And her fingers. Uh, her fingers, her fingers hurt so much recently that oh she God. has to bite them. No, Because honestly. they're so itchy, she has to bite them. So when I went to hospital the other day, which spoke about last pod, um, the bottoms and the sole of my feet were so painful and itchy. I can describe it how it would feel to get frostbite. And right. you know when you have 
um, cold hands outside, then you run them under hot water and they get really hot, painful, yeah. itchy. It's what my feet felt, but it's not athlete's foot. I didn't have nothing on them. They were just really, really painful. And then I come home from the hospital, it's probably been about two weeks now, but my fingers have really been itchy and painful. Mm. And that's a sign of diabetes, which wouldn't shock me because I do only eat chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> But if I've given myself type 2 diabetes face, and face diet, yeah. fuming. Like at dinner time, she'll have a dinner. You got water? But no. Oh, okay. But the rest of the day, it's just fucking shit. No, like, it's not. It's just shit. Look, whacking open a prime to have with the paracetamol. I saw love got in my bag. I, did, I will say I do only just have caffeine. Like I've had a coffee this morning and then I didn't even eat yeah. at home and I straight would just packed a prime. But we had a built bagel. Yeah, that's because we were somewhere with a cafe. But if you was at home, you wouldn't have eaten until like dinner. You'd have just grazed on chocolate and bits and pieces. So how is that? Because I haven't tried that one yet. Nice. It, um, is it like I'm a little bit ill, so my taste is off a little bit. But I want to say, do you know, like Palmer violets. Yeah, I'm getting that. Really? Yeah. I don't trust you. You're bunged up. A bit grapey. Yeah, I don't trust you. Yeah, we. Uh, sounds a bit. Uh, right, that should sort me right out. <laughs> uh, boss. Um, I've got to the document bit where it's mentioned salt burn but it does just say uh, the grave scene was not scripted it was improvised oh right so, so that just means but it's dick and mud then so well now I've got big issues with that scene even bigger issues that has just shell shocked me that's like a dare off, offset or well, our day is put your dick in the mud no but that just means right that they're set up in this field yeah going, and he's just yeah, camera, mic, roll in, yeah, speed, speed, all right, three, two, one, oh, they're crying, hugging, yeah, yeah, I didn't like, they're probably thinking, cut, bro's just getting, a, what's going on? Yeah, no, do you know what, if I think he's a brilliant actor, as I long kept as he's turn, I don't know if that's brilliant, <laughs> uh, I turned around to Faith whilst it was happening, I was going like, well, no. Yeah, would you not do that then? <laughs> Just wanted to see the reaction. She needs to know what I'm getting with before I put a ring on a finger. Bro, like, I get that there's some like movie brilliant. Do you reckon people actually do that at oh, graves? Of course. If you can think it has been done, that hence why he's acted it out. I think, right. Why is that thought even there? To I get that there's movie brilliant where some bits are completely off the cuff, improvised, and it, they just feel like it makes it better. You didn't need to do that. Yeah. But then again, maybe you did because now we're here talking about it. Yeah. Listen, it was a good film. I rate the dedication. I think they're really funny. I see um, clips of them too on TikTok all the time. I think they're hilarious. But he is a little bit of an odd bean anyway. Oh. He's all like jittery and mm. quite cute. There's also a salt burn bathtub cocktail going around on TikTok. Oh, well, oh you missed, missed the part where he had a bath and he wanks in the bath. Oh, great. Um, and then the weird one, drank the bath water, which great. was actually cum. Oh, so that's the, okay. Yeah, so it's, it's a cum bomb. Cum bomb. Uh, he also fingered a man. Yeah, he did, at the bum. He put his finger... Well, where else are you going to finger a man? <laughs> Valid point. <laughs> <laughs> up the bum. <laughs> Cheers. Um, yeah, I missed that bit. You t you filled me in on that, though. Yeah, I thought like that's he, enough now. That's he right filled him in bed. with his fingers. <laughs> yeah. 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 So he fingered the man whilst he was fucking his sister or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, dominating was um, on, on point. I'll give him that. Just really odd, mate. Like, genuinely so odd. Mm. I haven't watched anything that odd in fucking years. Yeah. Like it's 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 close. Makes me think though, do people actually have sex like that? And, and this is no, difficult because no. you fell asleep. But like the one where he's like, um, essentially eating her out on what's a nice term for that? It's such a vile term. What was it? That, uh, Caressing the vag with his mouth. Motten. That's what fucking remember Keith Lemon used to call it. Motten. Oh yeah, I wouldn't motting her out for a classy bit of advice. Motting her out, mate. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> licking the mint. Um, mot mot mot. Whilst mot. doing that, but it's like, like all fingers in the mouth, and I thought. Do people actually just do this? If you started putting your dirty hands in my mouth, I've got germ issues. So I'd be like, get them out of my mouth. I feel like I get more... I I'd be get, like, have you washed your hands? I get more explorative when I've had a beverage. Oh, you're nice when you've had a drink. <laughs> Ethan gets really dominating. He gets sexy. I get sexy? He gets sexy. And I think, okay. So I'm sexy when I'm drunk? So sexy. Really? Yeah. You're nice, nice and manhandling. Like Am I? That. Yeah. Well, thank you. I suppose so. It's a little bit tough. I suppose, yeah. I nice suppose and, that's, that's you're nice and gentle when you're, when you're sober. <laughs> it's a very, very virgin. He's like, can I grab your bum cheek? I don't know. Okay, but no, I've never done that. And I'm then when he's drunk, what? 
bend over your slag. <laughs> I don't do that. I don't do that either. You're painting a bad picture of me. Yeah, I feel like I just get more explorative when I'm when I'm drunk. Yeah, no, I feel I feel like when you're drunk, that's what you actually want to do. It's nice. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> hashtag we like faith has been in the <laughs> oh, comments. Oh yeah, that's a good one. I liked all seven in comments. Thanks everyone. Do you know what killed me with that though? Uh, <laughs> I when, took two minutes out of my day to when, like every comment. <laughs> when the last pod went up and obviously I said everyone should start doing a hashtag we like faith. I've seen it on TikTok too. Though. Yeah, it's cool. um, There was one geezer that put, uh, really appreciate the hashtag we like faith thing, all two of them. <laughs> yeah, no, it's funny. But it's grown. Yeah, it's no, grown. It has grown. So, uh, uh, and do you know what was cute? In the car, you actually mentioned it and bro was smiling. And he was like, yeah, you was like, oh, there's like, Loads of We Like Faith comments, you know? Yeah, because... And my... she was smiling. So, well done, everyone. Good yeah, job. because I feel like people only take their time. So, even if people do like you, like, I know they do like me because they watch my stuff. Like, yeah. people only really comment bad things. But, like, if you like something, you don't really tend no, to comment. Like, no. if I go in Tesco's and I buy a great apple, I'm not going to go in there thinking... Who, who produced this apple? Yeah, like, I'm not going to go on the review, like, Tesco trust oh my God. <laughs> and be like, I had the best apple ever yeah, no one... from Tesco. It's but if nature. I had a shit one, I'd be like, oh, my God, they've literally sent me a fucking mouldy, rotty apple. Yeah, it's human and nature it to want to just spout yeah. negative stuff so, rather than good stuff. So to know there's at least a solid 15 people that like me. <sighs> bosh. I've got a new sense of life Give in me. Give us a big bosh for that. Bosh. Like a big bosh. Bosh. More bass. No. Go on. No, I'm More bass. now. Bosh. Bosh. Yeah. Bosh. Bosh. Olive Babe, says bosh. Yeah, so <laughs> I've, uh, I taught Olive to high five from a very young age. Yeah. I would always Instead go... Instead of high five, bosh. Yeah, so yeah. I would... But then when she high fived me, I would go, bosh. And now if you just go, bosh, she comes over and goes... Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, bosh. But then she'll try and say it. She goes, bosh. 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 Yeah, which is really quite funny. We're raising a bosh baby. Yeah, we are. Bosh. Um... <laughs> Yeah, but awesome. And even the comments on your haul video, when I was watching it to see what people were saying about it, it was actually quite nice. Yeah, people. it's it's good. I feel like people listen to me on the pod where I said, "Listen, New Year, New Me." You can't. You have to restart your hate. You have to find a new reason to yeah. hate me. You can't go off of last year's hate. I feel like I doesn't I, count. I feel like that, I'm, that one's expired. I feel new like, Year, New New Me, yeah, New Body. I feel like we're both <laughs> better people this year already. Yeah, we've actually been better. I feel like I I've I've stro took a stride into this year. Very good. Yeah, you have. I'm um, being nice. I'm still a little bit ill, so I'm still a little bit groggy, and I've got brain tumor. So got a brain tumor now. There you go. Yeah, so I, you just have to bear with it a little yeah. bit. Um, I'm actually a bit worried to get on yeah, the uh, uh, right now. The in case on I die on side, the Sidemen podcast. So he was asking what your resolutions are, and I said mine was to be a better partner. Yeah, I appreciate that genuinely because I appreciate that you're busy and stuff like that. But uh, sometimes I can. Well, I used to feel a little bit on the side, just a little bit. Not yeah. with other women, like just <laughs> just on the priority yeah, list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just felt like I was kind of the last one to yes, get a little I... bit of... And I'm not asking for like dates and roses. No. I'm literally just, speak to me yeah. <laughs> when so, you come home from work. Yeah, my, my, my start to the year has been to be a better partner. And I think I'm achieving. Yeah, I've had a coffee on every day but two. Yeah, but uh, yeah, well, I, but you was late. I had a horror show the other day. Yeah. Uh, we had a side men shoot in Aylesbury. That's like just near Luton. About an hour. And we had to be there at like eight, quarter past eight. Rose Olive has now eight, decided, <laughs> Olive has now decided, right, that she's a big girl mm -hmm. and will wake up at quarter to ten. Yeah, bro, that worried me. <laughs> I was like, do I go and wake so, up? <laughs> my child, that is my built in alarm clock that usually gets up at six, I thought six, perfect yeah. timing. I'll wake up with her, I'll take her downstairs, then I'll get ready, I'll leave. She didn't wake up. I, le I, w I woke up to my phone ringing next to my head at 8.45. I tapped Faith and went, oh, I'm meant to be there now. Yeah. <laughs> like, like now. Yeah. And then he left. I got a call, Faith. I'm so sorry. Can you put the bins out? Yeah, I drove, Everyone's I drove got down their the bins road. Out. Everyone's got their fucking bins out. I'm thinking, oh and my God. And this is where I get all feminist -y. I will not do the bins. Yeah. So <laughs> I got my one I, job. It was just one of them days where like, I needed to ask for forgiveness. I, would, yeah. I was like, oh, please. I'm... I will do everything, but I do not want to yeah. touch a wet, soggy bin an and drag it out. Absolute, <laughs> absolute honker that day. Yeah. But yeah, no, so even small things like writing notes on the fridge and stuff like yeah, that. Like I've I just... got some notes on the fridge. Yeah. Yeah, it's cute. It makes me want to cook you dinners, which is nice. Because I've always Thanks. I've always gone by the um, saying of, because it's very true, if you treat a woman um, good, she'll treat you better. Yeah. But if you're treating her with nothing, she's not going to want to do everything in return for you. Yeah. But it's like, oh, I'll stick you Tell you what, that was fucking fantastic, by the way. What? I come home from, uh, what was it the other day? 
Yeah, big side men shoot. That was the same side men shoot. The no, dinner. it wasn't. It, was, it wasn't, the dinner. The, the, the dinner one. But no, it wasn't. It that, was because no, we had loads of shoots in a week. It wasn't. Oh, it no, wasn't it the, wasn't the loot one. Pasta. It was the one before. Yeah, we did a cooking challenge recently. I might have spoiled that, but fuck it. Uh, <laughs> it's coming out soon. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, we filmed that, and then I come home. We had a meeting, so filmed into a meeting to getting home. It was the darts final night. Mm. Uh, that's what it was. So third. It was a third. Uh. I get home, rush home. I'm like, Faith, can I whack the darts on the finals on? Like, it's like four sets in. Whack that on. Come home to a full roast. Yeah. Just there. And it was in the oven. Yeah. So I ate a roast while I was watching the darts final. And, and it was in that moment that I sent the picture to the boys. I said, holy smokes. This is this is the life I deserve. Yeah. That is, I gave you a glimpse of wife package that. You did, yeah. Well Girlfriend done. package comes back. <laughs> yeah. Well done. Um, all right. Moving on. Golden Globes goodie bags. Oh, right. I'm intrigued by this. It was announced on Wednesday, January the 5th, that Globes and luxury lifestyle magazine Robert <coughs> Rob Report will be joining forces to give ultra bougie goodie bags to the 83 winners and presenters of the show. I like that. All right. This year's gift bags seem to be a big step up from the 2020 Academy Awards, which, which were valued around 200,000 each. Each guest will... The fucking hell. What? The goodie bags worth 200 grand. Um, wow. Each guest will reportedly receive over 35 products and experiences in their goodie bag. Amongst the 35 gift bags are yacht charter invitations. Oh, lovely. Private jet credits. Unreal. A £69,000 pair of emerald <laughs> earrings. Custom made trainers. Tattoo sessions. A private piece of make... I can't speak. A private pizza making class. All oh, right. With a top chef. A two-night stay in Burgundy. An all-inclusive lodge visit in New Zealand. Private surf lessons in Southern California. What would you want in a goodie bag of that value? Well, they may have got a pizza making class, but have they had a naked pizza making session with Bazinga? This is what I I'm saying. I bet they haven't. This is what I'm saying. That. I have. So he's and the, the real winner. And the pizza slapped as well. <laughs> and the pizza slapped. Yeah, that was a... I had a naked chef. Yeah, that, I, we've done the naked chef thing. Thanks, Jim Shark. They sent that. Yeah, Jim Shark <laughs> sent out this like make your own pizza package. So we did it and it came with an apron. So this I'd... was before we had kids and we were all adventurous. Yeah, well. <laughs> and now all spicy and now we're just... Thanks for the dinner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the things I like in this goodie bag are the yacht charter. Yeah, I was going to say that's got to be out there for The me private well. jet. The earrings can get fucked. Oh, right. Custom made trainers I'm in and tattoo sessions. Tattoos I'm in. The pizza making, I don't really... No, I think things like that are cute. Two nights stay in Burgundy, that's all right. New Zealand one sounded all right. New Zealand's good. Private surf lessons, don't care for. Oh, I've done surf lessons before. I really liked it, except it was in the harsh sea of France. Yeah. It wasn't a calm sea. I just... I uh, so, went under the wave and hit my wrist, and then I went to come back up, and then another wave knocked me down. I thought I was going to die. <laughs> fucking hell, it's oh, just so much trauma. money for a fucking goodie bag, isn't it? They're already, they're already fucking celebrities. They could, all, they could buy all this if they want it. It's mental. Yeah, well, you said it was nice to be appreciated. It is nice to be appreciated. Well, <laughs> the way you say appreciated makes me laugh every time. Appreciated. 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 I feel like we've done this on the podcast. We have already. done this, but it's just, it never changes. Yes, because how, how it's I say the word. Appreciated and backpack. Oh, yeah, backpack. So, yeah, <laughs> thanks for the laugh. It's a bag I, that, that you pack. Thanks. It's no, a bag pack. But where does it go? On your back. It's a fucking backpack. I just feel like I've missed We've done this for so long. One. I've, <laughs> Ethan would be like, where's my passport? I'd be like, have you checked your backpack? Mate, it winds me up so much. Oh, have you? Uh, can you get Ollie's backpack? It's not a fucking backpack. <laughs> it's a backpack. <laughs> it's a backpack. It's also a bag that you pack, so it's a backpack. <laughs> it's not a backpack. <laughs> Listen, it's one of them things, right? <laughs> she just won't change it. Because to me, that's right. Until it's not. Know, it's, it's, it's a backpack. I've said that all my life. It's a backpack. That's awful. The fact that you've been rocking around this planet saying backpack. Uh, listen, I've probably gone in a shop gone, where's your backpacks, please? Right, we're thinking what? They'll probably all laugh. <laughs> probably. Backpack. I went being cute the other day and I had stress, didn't I? Why? So I went, instead of a haul, I was going to do a... Um, Faith, a wood, a wood <laughs> oh, work this is it great. With, yeah, I was going to do a woodwork it with Faith, Faith, right? Faith is in the car one day and she goes, you know what I want to do in 2024? 
that would work. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> I got a double A star in that at school. Yeah. So Faith, right. Faith went to B and Q. Yeah, I went to B and Q <laughs> with Olive. So again, really difficult trying to get wood and f- with a pram and then kind of a trolley. Oh, stress. Right in B and Q. Tell me why you've only got fucking wood as tall as the ceiling in here, like four meter length wood. I can't even pick that out of the thing. So and yeah. but I was like, how am I going to get any of this wood in the car? <laughs> I've just driven all the way to B and Q with a baby. And like, just to stand and look at wood, going, how oh, the fuck does anyone? So get yeah, this you in know how like Binky's warehouse down the end of it, right? They just have all the samples of of wood. That's what it is. It's yeah. just showing you what the I material is. You probably go to the men that cut it. But my problem with that was I didn't have a tape measure, so I measured it by my body. So I knew that if <laughs> I was, I knew that if I was to stand up it would come to here on my elbow. So I need two pieces this length, please. And then I need some, I need it to be this wide. So I need three stints, but only up to my knuckle here. I couldn't go into a room full of men and say that. I was about to buy my own saw and do it in the car park. So I thought I can't do that Faith, either. Faith was going to so just left for the big panel that they display and then cut it at home. <laughs> but that big panel wouldn't fit in a van, let alone a fucking... It's like, it's like lorries worth of wood. Well, these men were just walking so around Faith, and I thought, Faith this went, is too much. Yeah, like, why is the wood in there all so fucking big? And I went, so basically what you do is you go, yeah, I need a bit cut like this, please. And then they do it for just you. This high. Went, oh yeah, to be fair, that makes sense. But I hadn't measured it properly, so I just done it like this. Yeah, which would have worked, but it, I just yeah. didn't. I just didn't want to do that. Yeah. Um, Chop so the wood called, up and put it in your backpack. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So I called my dad, and he couldn't drop everything out. It's just second of a hat for me, which was disappointing. <laughs> dad, can you come being cute? Yeah. <laughs> dad, can you meet me up being cute? No, Faith, I'm busy. <gasps> what? Yeah. What? Yeah. Everyone must stop. <laughs> so then faith. I went to next home because that was right next to and being bought cute. Loads of clothes. I bought a curtain pole, and then I called my dad. <laughs> buy, buy a curtain so pole. So I just thought, oh, we'll put curtains up in the living room and my dad told me I couldn't do that on my own either so now I've got a curtain pole just in my car with no curtains yeah you you, you shouldn't be left alone during days where like you've got nothing on it's really difficult because it, like genuinely you will just come home to something that's going on got, I bought a washing basket oh yeah I went to B&Q and right set the woman's standard I thought yeah I'll go to B&Q come out of wood I'll come out of a washing basket <laughs> nice really good yeah I thought yeah it's still a woodworking thing bro walked out of a fucking washing basket but yeah oh, I was um, a woman uh, I don't even know where I was now <laughs> I don't even know where I was. Sorry, that the washing fucking, basket is the sitting underneath rant, the hedges as the well. The backpack rant is just blow, Like, genuinely, every time she says it, a bit of my soul dies. Backpack. It's backpack. 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 There you go, backpack. And when, when you stop calling me Pac-Man, I'll start calling it a backpack. <laughs> I don't call you Pac-Man. Only when you... I've had them fixed since, haven't I? Like, I've not had don't start no, I don't, <laughs> I've not had no comments on my teeth since I've had the edit no the, yeah you had, you had you made, I do really like them now you made them more teethy which is good more normal put a little gap yeah stuff yeah well I had no no bullion yeah remember it's 2024 you got to find new reasons yeah new, that's old reason that's old reason new year new me can't hate on the old me right well uh, that that's the end of the podcast today oh god what a, oh. what a good way to leave it I couldn't go get my nails done yeah, Faith's uh, going to pretty herself up before we leave. Yeah, do you know what though? We'll say, I'm going to discuss this with you now. So my hair... No. Where no. I was... Where no, I guys, was, no, no. Where I was bleach blonde, right? We all know this. When you put brown dye on your hair, it can go orange because your hair is so porous, um, which means basically damaged, yeah? When you put a colour in, it fades out really quickly and it's just got orange hue. So I thought, do I put... I've got colour at home. Last time I put a dark blonde colour on, because that's all it is, by the way. It's dark blonde. It's not brown colour. But again, because it's so porous, it really grabbed the hair, but it'll wash out. Yeah, stay with me. So I've got a dark blonde colour, but last time I did that, it actually made my hair lighter. So do I run the risk right before D- Dubai dyeing my hair? But I just don't want pictures in Dubai and then the sun's out and I just look like a bright ginge. And that's not a bad thing. I just really don't see warm tone hair. I'd love to be a ginger. Yeah, my hair fine. just, when it's blonde, yeah, it's it wants brown. to be yellow. And then when my hair's, it's not dark blonde. And then that's <laughs> not dark blonde, that's brown. Categorically, it's a 7.1, which is a dark blonde. Um, that's brown. Yeah, right now, I put a blue, look, orange, I see it. It's not look orange. at that. 
I get confused. Oh, pff. <laughs> <laughs> either way, right? I get like, confused when the cameras are. Fucking hair it's all chronicles could be like a fucking movie plot. I my hate New it. Year's it resolution. Throws you up down, it's left, right. My New Year's resolution was to leave my hair alone. Last but time we, we were in Dubai, we're going she somewhere. cut a fucking fringe that, that she wore decision. twice. And the fucking all irony. you got out of that is a fucking news article. And a bad haircut, yeah. But the place which was ironically called the Lunatic Fringe. And do you know how much I still fucking and hate And apparently, that? right, so we're discussing that today uh, in the car on the way here. So I was very much, I said, Faith, why are you doing this? Uh, I just felt to do it. I feel like spontaneous. I thought it would suit me. I said, don't do this. You 100% don't do this. Well, why didn't you just... You didn't not, 100% why didn't you? Why didn't you let me? Why did you let me do it? What are you talking about? I told you not to do it. If you said it would have looked ugly, I wouldn't have done it. I'd, and that's a lie. No, I said I'd, I stand I'd by this. Me at the time, and I was incredibly insecure. <laughs> so if there this. was another thing that would have made me ugly, I wouldn't have done it. But my hair just won't be styled in a fringe. It won't do it. I blow dry it. It will not be. A it's fringe. the most pathetic attempt. So ever. now I've just got hair up to my eyebrows, which looks like bleach damage, but it's not. I'd cut that in. I've literally cut. To make my hair look like Listen, bleach damage. Just oh, leave it's it. It's all right. It'll grow back just in two years. Just leave it. And then she went blonde again. And then she goes, Oh, actually, do you know what? I've, I've always preferred you know my what, hair brown. Do you know what Richard so then done? she went brown. Then she goes, I'm staying brown forever now. And then now this comes out. I wish I'd do. My hair's so porous. Yeah. But Richie texted me yesterday going, Faith, I love this hair colouring here. Do you know what? It was blonde toxic. It's my hairdresser. One of them. I've got so many now. <laughs> oh, yeah. I no. hate it. My it's God. just a front bit. It's hair, just orange. Yeah, you're, you're, and now my skin underneath my hair is actually blue because of that blue shampoo stained on my head and my skin. Yeah, anyway. Just leave it. Anyway, yeah, thanks, guys. I'm just a girl. <laughs> Remember, guys, uh, subscribe. Remember, I'm just a girl. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like the video if you're watching there. Follow us on Instagram, Growing Pains Insta. Follow me as well, Faith Louise. Hey. <laughs> that was cringe. No, it's not. It was. Uh, join the doghouse on there. Yeah, uh, Ethan still ain't speaking it. <laughs> Ethan speaks in there very rarely, but it's good If you'll you. join it, he might actually speak. Yeah, I need, I need to show some, like, show, show some real force. Some commitment. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Um, and if you're listening on an audio platform, then rate it five stars, please. Yep. It's 2024. Yep. Appreciate it. New year, new body. Yeah. Bye. Bye.